Welcome to this guided meditation for when you haven't been playing well lately. I'm Dimitri, and in this meditation, I'm going to help you feel more confident and resilient despite your recent performances so that you can get back on track and back to playing at the level you are truly capable of. We'll start by becoming present and grounded in this moment. From there, I'll lead you through a visualization exercise, and then we'll end with a few affirmations. All right, let's get started. Start by getting comfortable. You can either sit in a chair or lie down on your back somewhere. Whatever feels best for you and will allow you to fully relax. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And then out. Take another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. On this next inhale, really follow the breath as it enters your nose. And follow it as it leaves your mouth. You can feel your breath as you inhale and exhale. Or you can listen to it, hear your breath as you inhale and exhale. Take these next few moments to really focus on your breathing by either feeling it or listening to it. If you lose concentration or your mind starts to wander, no worries. Just notice that you're distracted and come right back to following your breath. All right, nice job with that. Now that you're nice and relaxed and fully present, let's get you into the right frame of mind so you can get back to playing as well as you know you can. The first thing is, to get back to playing at a high level again, you've got to first let go. Let go of your last game or games where you haven't been playing well. Those games are over with. Those performances are in the books. There's nothing you can do about it now, but learn from it and grow from it. Bounce back even stronger and become an even better player because of those struggles. All you can do is focus on your mindset moving forward. Your confidence. Your resilience. Your mental toughness. So with that said, let's let go. What are you feeling as a result of not playing well lately? Frustration? Anger? Disappointment? Like you're letting yourself down or your team down? Doubt? Like you're not sure if you can get out of this slump? You're not sure if you're the player you thought you were? Think about it for a second and acknowledge how not playing well has made you feel. It's okay to feel that way. It shows that you really want to be great. You really want to play at a high level all the time. Acknowledge how you feel though. Don't resist these emotions or suppress them. Become aware of them, recognize them, but then let go of those emotions. Let them go. If you'd like, on your next exhale, imagine yourself exhaling these emotions away.
The next thing is, remember that this slump that you're in, or that last game where you didn't play well? These things do not define you. How you bounce back is what defines you. Poor performances, bad games, they do not define you as a player. It's just a normal part of being an athlete. No one is perfect. Remember that. Keep in mind that this is just a challenge that you're facing right now. But it's only temporary. You will get out of this. It's not a matter of if you'll get out of this. It's a matter of when. Think of all the work you've put in up until this point in your basketball career. Think of all the hours you've spent in the gym working on your game. That's what defines you. All that effort and hard work you've put in. Draw confidence from that. Think of how much better of a player you are right now than you were a few months ago. Six months ago. A year ago. That constant improvement is what defines you. Think of all the games where you've played really well. Those games define you, not these bad ones. These are just a bump in the road. Frustrating, I'm sure, but only temporary. One bad game, a stretch of bad games, doesn't matter. They do not define you. Keep all that in mind and draw confidence from it. Stay resilient. You're going to bounce back. You're going to get back to being the true you out there on the court. Now, let's visualize that bounce back. In your mind's eye, picture yourself playing in your next game. And picture yourself playing really well. Making shots, making nice passes, locking down your opponent. Whatever it is that you do out there, visualize yourself doing those things. And imagine yourself having a good game. Imagine feeling really confident out there on the court too. How great does it feel to play really well again? Take a few more moments in silence to continue visualizing this. Imagine yourself playing at a really high level and having a great game. And feel how awesome that feels. Lastly, I'm going to state a few affirmations that I'd like you to repeat to yourself in your head. State these affirmations with confidence. As you repeat them, know deep down that they are true. I am fully confident in my basketball abilities. I work hard on my game every day. I deserve to play well. I deserve success. Each day that I work on my game, I gain even more confidence. I am a great basketball player and I am getting better every day. A bad game does not define me. I can get out of any slump. I bounce back quickly from poor performances.
All right. Hey, great job. That's going to do it for this meditation. Bring your awareness back to the room that you're in. Bring your awareness back to your body. Feel your body sitting or lying wherever it is. Move your fingers and toes. Take one last deep breath. and open your eyes. Remember, it's not a matter of if you're going to get out of this slump. It's a matter of when. Thanks for listening.